Hey y'all, thanks so much for joining me today. I want to talk really quickly today about something that I like to call unlikely frugality. It is a way that you spend a little money on something, sometimes maybe more than a little bit of money on something, but it ends up potentially saving you some serious money in the long run. Um, one of the things, and I had a blog years ago and I wrote about this, uh, one of the things that I found that saved me a lot of money was an epilator. It's one of those little machines with the tweezers on it that circulate and epilate the hair. And um, I have always shaved my legs. I know probably a lot of us do, maybe not everybody, but razors are expensive. I have, I've got three daughters and not all of them like the epilator and um, it's expensive to buy razors and there's discount ways of buying them and I'm actually going to talk about that next week I think about some uh, like a separate part to this but um, I really I've, I've used an epilator for probably 20 years off and on. Um, the first one I got was a battery powered kind. It was the kind that you charged and then you could use it and I used it for probably two years or longer and they do eventually wear out. Um, I got another one because the charge didn't hold so well on, on that particular kind and I used it a lot. I used it a lot. Um, after that, I bought this kind. It's an, it, the only ones I've ever used are the M-Joys. I don't know uh, anything about any of the other kind. It's uh, E-M-J-O-I, I think. Um, I'll put it up here. And this one is called an Imagine. And this one is like for legs it's a, got a big um, surface here with lots of tweezers I mean let's be real that's what they are lots of tweezers in there this one's beat to pieces because I've used it for so long this one runs about $75 on Amazon um, so I know that's not cheap. It's not cheap, but having used this, there's no telling how much money I have saved in razor blades, um, or disposable razors. I mean, you have to use it when you first start. It's, it's like tweezing your eyebrows or tweezing any hair that you might you know tweeze it is uncomfortable at first and I got a few tricks about that that I'm going to talk to you about in just a minute um most of the negative reviews that I've read about them on Amazon or on QVC which is another place that I bought them we'll talk about that in just a minute um is because it hurts and people want to buy like numbing cream and all that kind of stuff and I've never done anything like that it might help I don't know um, I, I don't know I don't want to put anything like that on my skin and then tweeze the hair out of it if I don't have to um, but I've just never done anything like that after having used the epilator for years and years and years it doesn't hurt anymore. It's like if you're used to tweezing between your eyebrows or something, it, you feel it, but it's not, it's really just not painful. It's really just barely, you know, prickly. Um, but that's after a long, long time. And so I've got a couple tips and I'm going to point them out, but I also want to tell you since this one is, um, you have to keep it plugged in. This one is not battery powered. I'm surprised at how annoying that is. It, um, you have to be beside an outlet to use it. So, you know, you can't use it just anywhere. Now, most people would probably use it, you know, um, as part of their hygiene routine. I 
at this point, I mean, I can use it anywhere. So if I'm, you know, privately sitting out back or whatever, where it's, it's a private area, I could use it out there, but I can't because it is, it has to be plugged in. Um, but, but I've had it for a long, long time. And so the battery doesn't get older in it. So it's kind of like a trade-off with that, I think. Um, I've had it for much longer than I had the one that was battery powered. The, the big one that I had that was battery powered. And I got this one on QVC a few years ago. It's called an Mjoy EpiSlim. Um, I, it came in a pack of two and I was getting one for one of my daughters who happens to like it. Now this is a smaller. It has 18 blades, I think it says, disc epilators. It has no blades. It has 18 disc epilators. So 18 little tweezer things in here. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to let you hear it. Um, they're loud. And I don't know how much you can see. It almost looks like a vibration. But they're spinning and they're grabbing the hair and they pull the hair out that quick. This one, this small one, this is battery powered. And this one is great for little areas like, um, I mean, let's just be honest. Right in here. Um, occasionally, since I have hit my 50s, I'll get like a stray hair underneath here. And, um, I used to have to like, you know, I mean, it was an issue trying to handle that. It's not an issue with this thing. You just, you can do it. Um, and there's nothing to it. Now I've had this one for a quite a while. Um, but I don't use it often. Oh, as nearly as often, maybe, I mean, I don't even know once a month or whatever. And, um, it, <sighs> Since I'm doing it on my face, it's only pulling out these little, like, fine hairs. Um, so, it, it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't, but it doesn't hurt. It's not painful to me. Um, some people, if you have extremely sensitive skin, it can maybe... Um, people say it pulls up like a rash. Also, if you have extremely sensitive skin on your legs... Um, or, or if you have extremely thick leg hair, it can pull up a rash, I've heard, like, um, razor burn kind of bumpy rash. I've never had an issue with that, and, um, I used to have a lot of hair on my legs, not, I, I, I don't know, I guess an average amount of hair on my legs. Okay, but I've got a couple tips on how to make this easier and less painful in the way that this will you, the transition into it will be definitely easier at least if you do it this way. And I don't know why they don't tell people this. Okay, the way I started out, because I read about it somewhere years ago, and I can't even find it anymore, is shave your legs like you normally would, however you normally would. And I'm assuming that your hair doesn't grow super, super, super fast. Like if you have thick stubble the next day, this is not going to work for you. This particular tip is not going to work for you. But shave your your legs like you normally would. The next day, use the epilator. You're probably not going to get anything. You may have missed a little spot where you'll get just a little bit or whatever, but chances are you're not going to get anything. The next day, use it again. Try it again and see. And that way, because just like the hair on our head grows at different lengths, I think the hair on our legs probably grow at different lengths too. They certainly seem to. So you'll only get a little bit at a time. Um, it stings when you first start using it. It's prickly, um, but it's not horrible as long as you're not just putting it on long leg hair which I do not recommend doing, because, particularly at the beginning, because that is 
that's painful and this is the way to kind of ease into it now if you get to the second day or the third day and you're starting it's it's pain it's too painful because you're getting too many hairs go ahead and shave again and then start it over again and it takes a little while but eventually what happened with me when I did this is that it definitely helped the transition into it now I can use the epilator and first of all the hair on my legs grows completely differently than it used to. I never anymore have the spiky stubbly hair. Never. Um, it will grow out a little. Well, it'll grow out. Not just a little. It grows out. and But it's soft. And it's not like, it's kind of like, you know, the hairs maybe on your arm or something. Not that I'll let it get that long. But anyway... Now I can let it go. Um, sometimes I'll let it go a couple weeks and then use the epilator. I do have to exfoliate either in between or at some point. And I'm going to talk about that next week and the ways that I do that. So therefore, I do still buy razors and I do still shave. But I usually at this point only shave even in the summertime, maybe a couple times a month, maybe. And I really don't have to do it that much. I do it more for the exfoliation. But I'm going to talk about that in the next video that I talk about uh, frugality. Um, another tip, do it right after you get out of the shower when your pores are more op opened and your hair is maybe a little softer. Um, after a warm shower, it seems to lessen the pain of it. Now, I, I can do it anytime now. It's nothing at all to me. Um, you can also do your underarms if you're so inclined. I have honestly used this, so, and, and I would do it the same way. I would do the same tip. I did it the same way with my underarms as I did with my legs. But now, I mean, I've used it for so, so long. And I know that as we get older, we probably don't have quite as much body hair. But it is like, it's... Um, I almost don't even need it under my arms anymore. So, of course, your mileage may vary. It may not work the same for you. It, I always encourage you, don't listen to me. Do your own research on this. See what you think about it. Because our bodies are different. Our skin's different. And we all have to do what works best for us. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but if I didn't, this one is about $75.00 on Amazon right now um, and this is about $30 for one or they still have the two pack on QVC and you can get the two pack for $55 um, I don't think you'd need to two but if you do want to give one away or whatever I don't know if it's a great gift to <laughs> give to your friend here you know get rid of the facial hair but um either way that I, I know it's expensive I know it's a little money to put out there oh another tip when you're using the epilator make sure the skin is taut you want to pull the skin that you're using. You do not want to use it around wrinkled or folded skin because it can pinch the skin if you're not careful. So just be careful. Read the directions on it if you're going to do it. Um, try my tip if you're going to do it, which is to shave first and then do it every day for as long as you can until too much hair has grown and it's painful for you. That's just kind of an easy way to kind of ease into it, I think. So with the five blade women's disposable razors now going for what? I mean, 
you get a bargain on them if they're five bucks here, you know, and if you shave a lot and that doesn't last you very long, it won't take a super long time for this to actually save you money. And it saves me time because I don't have to shave all the time. I do have to do this and it takes probably, it takes a little while. Count on, like if I'm doing my full legs, um, five or six minutes per leg, you gotta kinda go over it and over it. But I mean, you know, you can do it while you're watching TV or whatever. It's not like, and, and it's only once, well, for me now, it's probably once every couple of weeks. But that will vary depending on how your hair grows and everything else. But anyway, just a quick tip on what I do to help save me money on very expensive razors. And so that's what I do. Next time, I'm going to be talking about... Um, the need to exfoliate because I still have to exfoliate when I do this. Um, and I'll go into all that next time and what I use to do that and why I still use razors and which razors I use and why. And that will all be coming up next week. So if you have any interest in that and you're not subscribed, subscribe and ring the bell and then you'll get notified when I put that video up. And thanks again so much for joining me. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And if you've used an epilator, leave your comment below if you will, if you love it, if you hate it, what you love about it, what you hate about it, if it saved you any money. Let's share this with each other and um, kind of get the message out. Let's just see. Let's see what people, what your opinion is. I would really love to hear it. It's been my companion for so many years that I just really have a positive experience about it at this point. So let me know what your experience is and we'll see you guys next time.